Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm UK Gamer808 and today we are looking at Farming Simulator 19 Pigs, specifically Seasons. So we're going to do a short little how-to guide for Seasons 19 and hopefully we get our head around it and see if they're going to be much profit in pigs where before before we had the pig food silos there wasn't a lot of profit in pigs they ate a lot of your crops and you didn't get a lot for them so what have we got now then we have four different pigs available so i've set up four pigs i'm at sussex farms nine fs19 and we've set up four pig pens now i'm only putting 10 pigs in each one so let's go into the this one and we we'll run through the different types of pigs so we start off with the yorkshires now these are female they're one years old and we're starting off at 419 pounds in weight and then 945 pounds to buy so they are the most expensive to buy and it is known as the mother breed this this breed of pig is very fast growing animal but requires a high amount of capital for initial purchase so it doesn't say anything about feed or anything there but it just says they cost a lot of money the next one we've got the gloucestershire old spot which is a uh, very close to my heart that one as i'm from a gloucester and that one is 0.2 years so they're babies they're 53 pounds and you only get males so it's just going to be feeding feed them up for meat the old spot is a slower growing animal but is much cheaper to purchase initially very hardy and great for the starting farmer so that seems to be the one you want to start off with for meat then we go down to the spotted which they're one year old so we get females in them so we're going to have some uh, piglets and they are one year old 320 pounds so they're the smaller of the two available for piglets known for their carcass quality the spotted grows relatively fast and can be purchased for a moderate modest amount so 750 so just under 200 pounds less than the other one then we go on to the Berkshires, which are a little bit more expensive. Now, these are the same thing again, 0.2 years, £57. So they are a little bit bigger and they're £313 for each one. Now, the Berkshire is a fast growing animal that requires a modest amount of capital to purchase and is known for their flavourable meat. So none of them really tell us anything about how much food they're going to require. So already set up i put 10 into each one now i've done the cleanliness cheat for those who don't know all you do is sprinkle down some wood chips over where you're dropping your food and then you won't have any any dirty dirtiness you'll have cleanliness 100 percent all the time because it doesn't drop any food out of the trough now i i haven't filled up any of the food in them yet i put water in now i've already done chickens and sheep and I wasn't aware that we had water pumps where this one at the moment I haven't got a water pump for it so if you go into the shop go over to your animal pens and I didn't spot it because I didn't scroll all the way over you scroll over to the right and there we got a water pump minus three you can see I've got three of them so far so you just buy that bring it down near your water now it just needs to be near it and I'll tell you what before we buy that I'll show you it in the other menu because it's show, this is the seasons menu and you see here we got the 10 different varieties of pigs now the one you can see these ones here where it's got cleanliness then underneath you've got the water it says water pump and that one says water pump and that one's water pump so this one hasn't got a water pump so it's quite cool that it actually shows you that there is no water there well no water pump so let's go over and buy a pump for it and then we can place that there now this won't fill up your water it won't just keep filling it up what it does is it keeps it at a 15 percent rate so it will never be a point where there's no water in there because if you've got no water you're going to kill your animals the same with feed if you run out of feed or water for so long not sure how long it is then you are going to um, your animals going to die where this eliminates it so you can use this on sheep cows 
uh, chickens don't need water but all the other animals you can use it for so we go back so we go back to the menu now and you can see that one they're all saying now water pump now that one is half on the water for the Yorkshires so it still does need topping up now I haven't I've only been doing this for about half hour so far and already they are using a lot of water I was quite surprised they want a little bit that was just a top up let's go around and fill up the Yorkshires and we'll drop that off and that should fill that up and then we go back into the menu now if you're looking for the menu it's L, R1 and the options button which brings it up and then we cycle through we're starting off on we're doing three day seasons and we will run a full year to see how many how, well what the crack is basically how much money we're going to make by selling meat and by making extra pigs so back to that menu and already I've filled them up with straw now for those who don't know this is the straw point on this corner here now you can use a straw blower or you can just drop it straight in it's not that fussy but we've got one over here actually I've got uh, my telehandler ready to go and all, all you do is you tip it there and it come out like it's dropping on the floor because that one is full up so if it's not full up it, if it needs straw you'll be able to fill it up like that the next one we got the water which we've just gone through and then we have well then we have the food trough which is that one there so we better get some food in to get them going now actually I didn't show you how to actually buy did I so some of you ain't gonna know and all, all you do is basically you pick on the one you want and then press X and then it moves it over to the other side and then it confirms it easy as that or you can go to the animal dealer with a trailer put them in the back of the trailer and bring them all the way down yourself depending on how you how you want to play the game obviously for this we're just doing it as quick as possible so food wise let's go back into that menu and we can see you the corn you need corn wheat barley soyas soy beans canola and sunflowers now it's one of each of those basically so you can have corn wheat soya beans soybeans or you can have corn barley canola or corn barley sunflowers each one is specific for that category you need those categories now if you're going to do that you're going to waste a hell of a lot of your food especially when you're down to sunflowers and your canolas and soybeans which um, you get good money for so you don't want to be feeding them pigs so the best way is using a mod now we have this mod what came out um, a while back and it is the pig food trader now we go to the mod hub and I'll show you that so you go into mods and then when you're in the mod hub in game you go to search and it should come up if you just put in pig food if it doesn't come up for that put in pig food trading system but it should come up with pig food and search that and there it is there it's by Helga Senstock and basically that's the one you want it sh shows up in the PDA you've got storage a shop and a trader but the main thing you want is a trader if you can't sell it on the map you're currently on well, that way you can always pigs aren't going to cost you any money to feed them and that's what you want so that's the mod you're looking for so basically this pack it consists you have a pig food shop which is just a silo so we can just fill up pig food out of here now this is the cheapest way of buying pig food if you go to the shop and buy it on pallets you're going to be paying a lot of money this is the cheapest way now so that is the silo for filling it up that truck i think is ready to go yeah we got 60,000 liters in there and then the pack the trader also comes with a shop because if you've got if you're buying pig food then the easiest way to make money is to buy a bit sell half of it that will give you a profit which we paid 16,000 pounds for this one for this trailer from this silo so if we drop this off into here and we'll, ju we'll just sell half of it 
So that's about half, and that was 24,000 pounds. So we made an extra 10 grand on that alone. So, so we made 10 grand, and now this in here is free. So we can use this to go and fill our pigs up. I will fill it up a bit more because I think we're gonna need a little bit more on that. So you can make easy money by selling it in a pig food trailer. Now Sussex Farms, you can sell pig food down at the garden center and I'm not, there's not many other maps you can do that. Now this trader, it actually appears in the prices there. So when you put it down, there it is, pig food trader. And then we scroll all the way over to the pig food, which you're not gonna have this on every map as well. This is only on Sussex Farms where the pig food is actually in the prices. And there it is there, we can sell it at 816 pounds. All right, so that's full up. It is a little bit slow for filling it up, so you have to be a bit patient. And we want to get back round to the first one. Now, before we drop it in, in the menu, it does actually tell you how much food you're going to need. So L1, options button, and these are the Yorkshires. Now, the Yorkshires are saying... You can see down on the bottom there, estimated food required 12,630 litres per year. Then we go down to the next ones and they're 6,670 litres, where those are the smaller ones, so they're not going to need as much food anyway. These ones need a little bit less food, where it's 9,926 compared to the 12,000 for that one over there. And then we go down to the other meat ones and they're only going to need 6,000 915 right so at the moment we are on the yorkshires and when we fill this up we can tip that now and we go back into the menu and it's not going up there it is they've all gone up now whereas when you use pig food it fills them all up equal so you've got your corn wheat barley and everything else so easy as that really quick to fill them up with food otherwise you'd have to get the three different varieties and fill them up separately and it used to take so long to mess around with pigs it really did since this pig food trader come out it's brilliant it saves you a hell of a lot of money and and time you're not actually running around trying to when i i did this when it first came out uh, looking at pigs and it took me it was a good day to to get all the commodities I needed because I wanted to max everything out. So I had 500 pigs and the amount of commodities I needed, I had to just keep going out. We didn't have um, any silos or anything what we could buy it from then. So I needed the commodities. So I had to go out there and plant them and grow them, harvest them. It was a pain in the arse, but pig food is the way to go. So don't go feeding your pigs any of those valuable crops. Right, so we go into back to the menu now and you can see everything now is all in the green apart from the straw on the Berkshires. So let's just go and top that up. Now the Berkshires, Berk, Bark, Berk, Berkshire. Is it Berkshire? I should know. It is Berkshire or Berkshire, I don't know. I don't bloody know. Anyway, let's get round to here and you can see in the pen there isn't any straw. Now the straw is a necessity for manure. If you don't put any straw down, you're not going to have any manure. And you see, see the pen is filling up as we're tipping in. And then when the pen is full, it should start dropping. There it goes, it just drops it on the floor again. So we can pick that up. So that is all our pigs ready to go everything's in the green all should be good now the other thing is the health of the pigs now that you see there the health is on 71 percent same with all these they're all on exactly the same the whole idea is when you buy them they're on 70 percent and then as you have them for a few days or a few months then it will go up and as the health goes up you get more money for them now for buying your pigs we've got the economy which we scroll all the way down. And we got the pigs there. 
We've got the Yorkshires, which you can see the price is three on the left, which is 300. So really buying them, it doesn't really make that much difference. You're not gonna get them much cheaper for certain times of year. Right, so what we're gonna do is fast forward time and we will go into next stage of spring and then we'll have a look to see how much the how much food they've used in just a 24 hour period because I think they're gonna use a lot of food and we can't fill up too much in the food troughs. So it's gonna be interesting. Right, I shall see you in a minute. I'll go a fast forward time, see you back in a minute. So that's 24 hours have passed and they are using quite a lot of food where that is one of the main ones there. You can see they used half of their food. That's the other one there and they've used half. The same with the, um, the smaller ones haven't used as much but they've used as much water and the same with the straw. So you're gonna have to top up the straw and the food every two days. Now, the other thing is with the animals, the larger animals, the mature ones, we can actually have piglets and you can see now as we scroll down these are the 10 in there and every one apart from one is expecting you see it says their next animal in 0.3 years and that one we haven't got any for some reason at the moment next animal in 0.3 0.2 now easy as that so the pigs will breed twice a year so you should get two loads of piglets out of each pig right we will fast forward time now to the end of spring and see what the crack is because at the moment the they haven't changed in weight the health has gone up you can see that's on 79 percent now now that's gone up quite quite quick compared to the other animals they were taking a, a lot longer to go up so hopefully by the end of spring we might even be on 100 percent i will see you in a moment right then we are now in mild summer where i fast forward a little bit further didn't have any issues nothing has died which is the main thing and you can see the yorkshires there they've produced piglets and we have 11 extra on those now the health is on 86 percent for those and then we scroll down to the these are the other young young born when you see they're marked there as young they come in as newborn young and then mature so they're young now and 92 percent health and the same with those they're on 92 and they're on 92 so i don't know why those ones are down a little bit less it might be because there's more pigs in the enclosure but we are generating pigs that's the main thing same with these ones the um spotted all of these we've got We've got pigs ready to go. They're ready to pop any minute now. So we are on the middle of summer. So I think now we're just gonna fast forward time. So then we've done a whole year and that should be the best time to sell them when they're about a year old. So we we'll see what sort of profit we're gonna have. So I will see you shortly. Right then we've fast forwarded a year just over a year so let's go and have a look at the meat ones first of all now in here we have the gloucester old spot now we bought these these were the young ones and we bought for 227 pounds and they were 53 pounds in weight and now they're 382 pounds in weight and they're 728 pounds so you have you know tripled your money on it more or less it was 227 and now we're getting 728 so you're making pretty good money on those that's bear in mind we they were we've had them just over over a year it was uh because you can see we've got 1.2 years on all them and they're all exactly the same as well we haven't generated any because they're just meat right let's go over to the other meat one which is the, the berkshire or berkshire now this one we bought these in at 313 pounds each they were 57 pounds because they were a little baby piglets as well and now they're 389 pounds 
and we can sell them for 885 pounds so same thing again is you are making quite good money bear in mind if you're doing hundreds of it then you are going to make all right money out of, out of the meat but to be honest i don't think the money is in the meat whereas now we go to the yorkshires and we got the Yorkshires. So they are our stock ones, which are 2.1 years now. Now they're 2.1 years and we can sell those for 924 pounds. Now we paid 945 pounds for it, but we made a hell of a lot. Look at all these little babies. And then we got 0.8 years and we keep scrolling down and we got some newer ones as well. 0.7 years, 0.3 years. And they're 440 pounds so if we go on to the other menu and you can see they're both on 100 they generate we started off with 10 and the yorkshires are on 100 now bear in mind a lot of these still have got pigs piglets like that one and that one there's quite a few of them still to have piglets so although it says 100 it was they are the best ones for producing after the six month period they had produced 93 so we so they made 83 in six months basically and if i run this for another few months they will it will be up to about 160 or so now the spotted ones they made 71 where the spotted ones were after six months they were on 81 we started off on 10 so they actually generated 71 extra pigs and so to me it's a no-brainer isn't it so I've got all these pigs here. I've got nine. I've generated 90. So we've generated an extra 180 of them. And then if we go in to sell them, let's, yep, yeah, this is and the price for them. So we're going to get 600. No, they, these are the smallest ones. And we're going to get 440 pounds for the smallest ones. And then it goes up when it goes up to 0.7 years, it's 700 pounds. Ah, that one's a male yeah so we get a little bit more money for the males which is odd but there you go anyway we can scroll all the way up to the top and our oldest offspring is 0.8 years so these everything from here on we generated and we're getting 712 pounds for that one and 616 for the female and our main stock ones we started off with are still worth 924 pounds where we bought them for 945 pounds now i'm not sure how long these are going to last for whether they last for so many years or what i'm not sure if you've done this let me know in the comments how long you've kept them living for because the chickens didn't last very long but these seem to be going no problem so it is what's the point i've generated in that pig pen we generated 90 in that one we generated over 90 in here we doubled our money so you're like well what's the point of doing meat then because meat you are gonna you buy 10 at what do they cost us 200 the Gloucester old spots were 227 pounds each so that's 2220 270 for 10 and then we can sell them for each one at the moment uh, 728 so you're only gonna get gonna get seven grand back on them so you do make money on meat but what's the point you may as well be generating more pigs and then you can just keep putting more pigs in and going like that uh, interestingly as well with the where are we gone you see the manure with the two with obviously a lot in there's a, a big difference and there is a little bit of a difference between those two but mainly that that one you expected that one has always had um, a lot more pigs in it from the start anyhow but we're generating slurry and manure so no issues so a big roundup to it all is really you may as well just use the yorkshires or the spotted because any of the other ones you're only going to generate a, well you're going to fatten them up and then you you can sell those same pigs whereas with the other ones you can fatten them up and you get piglets and make money on that as well so it's a no-brainer to me yorkshire or spotted is the way to go unless you 
really want to just sell meat like, like you're doing a let's play and you just want to sell meat then that option is there for you I suppose right well that is it for the how to guide for sheep for seasons for farming simulator 19 I hope you found this helpful I know there's a bit of videos of it took a lot to go through but uh, as soon as you start playing it it's, it all starts making sense and it's not that complicated really is it so you just want the Yorkshires and the spotted and they're the ones that are going to generate you good money Righto, well, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this episode. And if you are new to the channel, go and check out my other videos. And maybe if you enjoy them, go and hit that subscribe button. The channel's growing very fast at the moment. And we're always looking for more subscribers. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.